This little beauty is the Best Tech Bihai, and it's the latest Ostop Hell design for Best Tech in his bouquet series. Uh, this beautiful hawk build blade is based on the leaf from the uh, Heliconia Palulu flower. Did I get that right? Yeah. I'm no botanist, but uh, this is based on a flower called the Palulu and um, the it's the red Palulu and the scientific name is Heliconia Bihai and this is the Bihai. All right, there you go. Clear as mud. Anyway, on to the knife itself. As you can see, it is a beauty. I love the shape of that blade um, and I love the shape of the handle and the ergonomics are awesome. It is a very small knife. Uh, this thing fits easily in the palm of your hand. You could walk up on someone and surprise them with this um, <laughs> if you're a sinister type. But otherwise, this is a really great little tiny EDC. I've been uh, carrying this in my pocket, just banging around at the bottom of my pocket almost unnoticed until I want to use it or take it out and just fidget with it. Um, for weeks now, and it's a very effective little cutter. I've been using this to open up food packages, uh, envelopes, uh, cut string, a lot of stuff at work, cutting tape, gaffer's tape, and uh, other kind of stuff. It's been getting quite a bit of action because um, it's small and unthreatening, but it's also, it's got a it's got an air of menace that keeps me interested. And overall, it's just a very interesting and organic design. Plus, uh, non-knife people have seemed to really like this. Ostop Hell design, this is 14C28N. Cool thing about this knife is that there is basically no billboarding on the blade because they could not find space enough to put the Best Tech logo. So for the first time, Best Tech used a branded pivot. And I'm a big fan of the branded pivot especially if it means there's not going to be any writing on the blade. And uh, uh, writing on the blade doesn't bother me. Even billboarding like Microtech does it doesn't bother me. But in this case, uh, it really highlights these beautiful grinds. You see how this main bevel meets up with the swedge. And uh, I just love the way that looks. Uh, this is a very useful little knife uh, for little utility chores. And when I read the Knife News article about it, Ostop Hell was saying a, a number of friends of his use this for gardening. A uh, great little knife to cut stems and, say, reach into a plant and pull forward to, to prune. Uh, you know, you'll see a lot of pruning knives and mushroom knives have that sort of hawkbill shape um, on the cutting edge. But it's rare that you see a pruning knife that looks this good. Uh, this tiny little handle really fits the hand nicely, and it's kind of a four-finger grip, you know? I, I guess I have to say it's a four-finger grip for me. Oh, my hands are all dry, and I guess I didn't notice until I was looking through the viewfinder here. But uh, yeah, my pinky kind of wraps around this this back part, and if you come all the way up to the to the blade edge, yeah, you could get a full full grip on it. My hands are medium in size, so uh, in terms of gloves and stuff. So this fits and feels very secure. I like that on the blade, there are two little runs of jimping uh, back here. And then if you're going to be right up on the tip of the blade for utility cuts and pull cuts and drag cuts and such, uh, you have another little run of jimping there, a little bit smaller. This comes in a number of colors and uh, this blue is very nice. I like it. I've been uh, tending towards uh, this sort of blue lately, or this sort of blue, sort of the darker, less cheerful blues, but for this little knife, this seems to be a perfect color. This also makes me want to get that Ostop Hell um, design for the bouquet series that came right before this one, and I'm trying to remember what it's called, but it has the blade that protrudes through the finger, kind of like a push dagger when you flip it, it, it comes to about there. And it has a similarly shaped blade, but I'm thinking it might be even a little bit smaller than this. But a powerful little self-defense-y slash utility knife. 
On this G10, you can see there's nice shaping and fluting uh, down the sides. And then you've got this uh, black backspacer and a non, you know, just a regular pocket clip stamped. I was going to say non deep carry, but uh, that fits perfectly in there. You can't even feel um, the clip. And on a knife this small, um, sometimes you want that clip. You want a clip there just to fill out fill out the space. This is a little smaller than uh, a half inch. Let's see. Yeah, just slightly under a half inch, which is sort of standard folder width. I mean, standard meaning uh, sort of the average uh, width. And I do find that uh, thicker, smaller knives fit better in the hand for me. Uh, but in this case, the profile here really makes for an ergonomic um, grip. Feels really good in hand in it. It feels like it's very secure in hand and that can be a problem with small knives, uh, but certainly not for this one. Uh, I, you may notice I dropped this. Uh, it was a little, a little heartbreaking because it's, it, it is a little gem and I, I was loving um, its pristine nature and then I dropped it, you know, uh, getting out of my car and it, Gave that little ding, and then I felt even more free to to, to just sort of bang on it. Um, this has a nice uh, four, um, spidey flick with a hole with a hole there. <laughs> Excuse me, and it's on bearings. Tiny, tiny little blade dropping in, free fall, free falling without relying on the weight of a larger blade. It's very nice. And then here you have your front flipper. You can, you can really snap it out, almost like push button. Uh, it's almost as if you're pushing directly back on that little tab. Masterfully designed. Uh, this is one of the first front flippers that I'm all the time successful using my forefinger. Other front flippers, mm, not so much for me um, in terms of that action. There are a couple, of, like this one. But... Uh, from CJRB, but on the whole, I tend to just front flip with my with my thumb. Really, really nice little knife. Uh, this was sent to me by Best Tech. Thank you so much, Best Tech. I love this. They didn't ask for it back, and uh, I'm very pleased because I really like this. Uh, as do my the ladies in my house, and um, but this one is mine. It I may be inspired to get them all one. Um, my wife definitely, and then my, my girls, uh, I might just buy for them and then just have them sitting around, uh, at least for my younger daughter. My older daughter can totally uh, be responsible with this, um, I'm told. All right, let me, let me show you a couple of um, knives kind of in this size range. Uh, you got the Launch 9, a great, great little automatic knife, uh, even smaller than this Bihai. Um, what else do we have? Oh, I forgot to look. I always forget the name of this. Uh, this is a, a Boker, little automatic Boker, um, and it's a Dariel Cast, Castan, Castan uh, design, and B-R-N-O. I'm sorry, I have not looked up. I've forgotten the name of this one, but it's a cool little automatic by Boker. I do like the way it looks. I uh, have not really used it. Um, here it is with the Finch Runtley, a, uh, a very famous small little knife. Uh, this knife is just heavier, thicker, about a similar blade. So it's a little bigger on the blade, but uh, just a beefier uh, production altogether with those liners. This one does not have uh, metal liners except the liner lock on this side. By the way, very good access to that lock bar. That's something I always look for now. Uh, that's a Jared Nevism that has really um, uh, become pretty important to me. Uh, you can see it's just the liner embedded in the G10. Oh, wait a sec. No, no, no. I take it back. There, there are some liners. This is just so light. You can see them right there, skeletonized. Um, this is just so light, I, I just always assumed it was just G10. Um, but there it is with the Finch. And 
Two other great little knives. Here it is with the Baby Rhino from Off Grid. A uh, bit, bit larger, especially in the handle. And then here you'll see uh, a full width. This is the full width of the full-size Rhino, uh, which is a much bigger knife. And that full width really adds to the grip and how effectively you can grip this. In this case, you've got the design here, the contours and the profile that make it fit the hand really well, even though it's small. Here, you have the exact same uh, proportions as the larger one, and it feels comfortable in hand, no doubt, but you do not have pinky access, even though it's got a longer handle. Uh, the pinky is not, my pinky is not gripping on there, but it's that full thickness that makes it, uh, makes it good in the hand in terms of grip. And then lastly, oh no, I, get, I have another one too. Um, you've got the small, um, the mini penguin, also has that full thickness of the regular size penguin, um, and that aids in the grip. Again, no pinky, how is that? Smaller, I guess because of that choil. This doesn't have a choil, neither does this. So I'm not getting the full four finger grip that I'm getting on this tiny little Best Tech Beehive. So cool. Ostop Hell's designs are just beautiful and graceful. And I think this is definitely, uh, definitely that. And then here it is with the GEC number 14. Uh, also a little banger that you can drop in your pocket and kind of forget about until you need it. It's got about the same size handle. No. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's it's in the same ballpark. Um, different usage, though, and doesn't lock. So, um, yep, so here it is. This is the Best Tech Behind. Again, thank you, Best Tech, for sending this along to me. I really like it. I, I'm wondering if you heard my coverage of this on um, on the podcast. I, I, I really uh, liked it when I was looking at it in pictures, and now that I have it, I really dig it. Great little work knife. I know I keep holding it like this as if it's a tactical knife, but uh, you'd have to really be in, in trouble to think of this as a tactical knife. So heaven forbid. All right. Thanks for watching.